This video is all about estimating using multiplication. So let's say we have a question like 38 times 42. Now remember when we learned about multiples of 10. So we want to pick nice numbers because we're estimating. So we can change the 38 to 40. We could also change the 42 to 40. So in that case, we're rounding both numbers to the nearest 10. Now, if you remember our strategy for multiplying with zeros, we cross out the zeros, and I have 4 times 4 is 16, and I tack on two zeros, because that's what I crossed out. So my answer is 1,600. Let's try another one. 31 times 88. Remember multiples of 10. So 31 I'm going to change to 30. And 88, because this 8 is higher than a 5, I'm going to round it up to 90. So I have 30 times 90. I cross out my zeros. 3 times 9 is 27. And then I tack two zeros on. So 30 times 90 is about 2,700. And that's how we estimate using multiplication. Let's say we had a question like 43 times 32. What would you estimate this to be? The 43 we could change to 40 and the 32 we would change to 30. Excellent. Then I cross out my zeros. 4 times 3 is 12 and I tack on two zeros. Excellent. Now sometimes when you estimate using multiplication, you'll be asked if your estimate is an overestimate, an underestimate, or if it's hard to tell. I'm going to explain what this might mean. Because I rounded 43 down to 40, and I rounded 32 down to 30, we can say that our estimate here is an underestimate. And the reason it's an underestimate is because we rounded both numbers down. If I have a question like 47 times 26, I'm going to round 47 to the nearest 10, so it's 50, and 26 to the nearest 10 is 30. Now, can you tell if this is going to be an underestimate overestimate or hard to tell? If you said overestimate, you are correct. The reason it's an overestimate is because I rounded the number 47 up to 50 and I rounded the number 26 up to 30. So by rounding both numbers up, I know that my estimate is going to be over the actual answer. My estimated answer is 1,500. The actual answer of this is 1,222. So you can see that our estimate is an overestimate. Now let's say that you had a question like this. 38 times 23. Well, the 38 I'm going to change to 40. And the 23, I'm going to round to 20. Now, is this an overestimate, underestimate, or is it hard to tell? I think it's hard to tell. And the reason for that is the 38, we rounded up to 40, but the 23, we rounded down to 20. So we had one number go up and one number go down. And that means it's going to be hard to tell if this is an over or under estimate. There's one more really important thing to remember. If you have a question like 38 times 5 and you want to estimate it, it's okay to change the 38 to 40. What do you think the 5 should be changed to? If you said 10, that is not correct. And here's why. By changing the 5 to a 10, you've actually doubled 
what the possible estimate could be. So I don't think our estimate is going to be very accurate. Instead, when we have something like 38 times 5, what we should do is change the 38 maybe to a 40, and we should multiply it by 5. We should keep the 5, because it's easy to multiply things by 5. Remember, cross out the 0, 4 times 5 is 20, tack on a 0. See how that's way different than this estimate here? So if you have a single digit, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it's best to leave it alone when estimating and not trying to change it. This way your estimation will be much more accurate because when you use numbers closer to the original, you get a more accurate estimation.